that's a useful term. In real life, no. I wouldn't, personally, I wouldn't be open for, for doing that in real life. Um, I've always been in the mindset of two people. Good. Uh, mahilig ako sa sandwiches, but not this kind of sandwich. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not a threesome guy. I always said, uh, I like to share things. I share food, I share my belongings, I share, I can lend a car, but one thing I don't share is women. Um, my, dis my answer differs from the boys, I'm sorry. I was raised really open-minded and liberated. Sorry to everybody who's very conservative. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> but I don't think I'll never say never. Um, if the opportunity is there, if it's safe practice, if it makes you happy, if you're not hurting anybody, then why not? Diba? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, well, I'll try anything once, so yeah, never say that. Almost there, you girls. I can't speak for everyone, but uh, I understand where you guys are coming from. I know I'm guys as well, so I know guys uh, have a lot of ego. Uh, so girls, naman, uh, I guess girls are like seven year girl. Uh, once you commit and once you have a child, but, um, you can explore and make some guys to But I hope personally, because uh, if, if I'm with my partner, I was going to be some of them. But for me, because I think if it costs my peace of mind, it's just too expensive. It's something that I can afford. Thank you. For Direct Chow, uh, what's the best thing you learned from uh, Direct Dante? Ah, uh, sure, I'm here. But I feel like it's more about life. Eh. I mean, hindi lang siya, hindi lang siya tatapos sa filmmaking. Or about mentor. life. Oo, oh, kasi parang si Direct Hero niya ako like to persevere, to uh, it's okay to make mistakes as long as you, you continue what you're doing. It's okay, diba? Parang ganun lang. Ganun naman yung buhay, diba? If, if magka-quit ka uh, in the middle, hindi ka rin makarating sa destination, right? Thank you, Rosal. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was Ms. Dolly Ankar Rahal of Inquirer. But before you proceed on, I would like to acknowledge your guests here tonight. They are part of the cast. Let's give them a big hand. Jack Lejano, Leo Brian, Green Durian, June Lyra, and Gigi Hernandez. Also with us this evening is Christine Berman. Thank you for supporting Sandwich. And also, let's give a big hand for the staff of Sandwich, once again, and Center Stage Productions and Secret Garden for hosting our private screening tonight. Maraming salamat po. Okay, so moving forward, for our next question, we have Alex and Vaughn of Stars for the Vids. Hi, good evening. Congratulations to your movie. Yung first question siya, go to uh, Direct Chow. Direct Chow, here. Yeah. <laughs> so how is it ano, working or directing this kind of people? Parang halos lahat yata nung nung mga cast mo dito ay Inglesero, di ba? Inglesero. So, uh, ikaw ba, pagka dinidirect mo sila, you have to speak English also para maintindihan ka nila? Na Nahirapan nga ako actually, kailangan ako ng translator. Ang <laughs> very job na ako. Um, lahat naman sila, they can understand a little bit, even you. Then, di ba? <laughs> so, yeah, um, hindi naman mahirap and I have like the whole staff helping me. So, so parang hindi lang naman ako talaga yung nasa set, like instructing, instructing them and talking to them. Lahat kami, it's collaborative effort. So ayun, parang feeling ko yung burden, hindi lang siya nasa akin. And, and uh, so ko lang i-acknowledge din, of course, yung mga staff and crew behind this sandwich. Of course, Direct Brilliante, Direct Fred, nakita niyo naman, ganda ng cinematography. Uh, Miss Charisma, Meg, Deo, our sound, sound man. Um, our art director, hi. So wala ka nandito guys, thank you guys for coming. Uh, hindi namin magagawa itong film na ito kung wala sila. Ah, Direct Dinay, of course. Nakita ko yun. Hindi kasi actors, Direct Dinay dito. So, uh, ang galing na, ang galing na Direct Dinay. Diba? Siya lang yung atay Tagalog dun sa film. Thank you. That was good. Thank you, Dinay. Tanong ko lang sa cast naman. Uh, kasi uh, as I watched the film, pinapanood ko din kayo eh, while you watched for you. Tara kayo ba? 
are you a critic of your own ano, film? Kapag ka, pinapanood yung sarilo at skiritano na yung mga ganyan kasela ng mga pelikula, are you parang, ah, dapat di ko ginawa ito, dapat ginawa ito? O may ganun ba kayong ano, uh, thoughts in your mind while watching the film? Especially, parang kasama niyo yung cast members niya or doing it, eh, di ba? Uh, Nico. Thank you, Alan. Um, when I was watching, I always say when I watch my own films, the more I don't recognize the person on the screen, the better I did. But if I do recognize the guy on the screen, I'll be all satisfied. So for this film, um, I didn't recognize him. He was super bastos, he was super gago. He was, like, he was just an asshole that I got. Like the worst person that you could ever witness. And, I, and that's what I wanted. So when I saw that guy on the screen, I said, okay. I did an all right job in this film. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. How about, look, your most dramatic scene, <laughs> especially the last part, yeah. I couldn't watch the last part. Um, so, it, it was a while ago that we filmed uh, Sandra, so actually, some of those scenes that came up, I completely forgot that I did them. Um, but, Watching myself on the screen, I, I don't have any problems with that. It's, it's a chance for me to critique myself, um, to, to understand where I can also improve on my own acting skills. Um, but the, the the kind of the climax scene um, was just personally hard hard to watch, uh, just because it during the during the shooting uh, it was very intense, um, very psychologically draining as well. Um, so, but the, the scenes before, the scenes after, just the, the movie in general was, um, was fantastic to watch and critique myself. How about anime? So, I agree with Nico. Like, the more you don't recognize yourself, the better you know you're doing. But I'm fairly new in the industry. I don't think I've been in showbiz yet for a year. Um, so every project is definitely still a learning curve for me. Um, we did shoot that a couple while back, but yeah. So I think not only me, but a lot of us um, who do enjoy our craft, like the process of acting as well, we really do try and critique on where we can get better, or if we did good at certain scenes. Thank you. I always take it as a learning experience. Like, syempre, I'm proud of the outcome, but as actors, we always want to improve and get better. So just finding little things that I think I could have done better and applying that onto the next project is always important. Thank you. Congratulations. You're all good here. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Thank you very much. That was Alan Sankon of Stars for the Vids. For our next question, we have Matt Suzara of La Pachera Lovers. Hello. Hello, good evening. Congratulations. First question for Direct Jow. Uh, you previously apologized for the film being heavy in English. Are you worried about your audience or did you take any consideration for the typical view amongst viewers? Well, for me, kasi it's an opportunity to tap a, a wider group of audience. So, um, syempre, may meron tayo mga audience na hindi makikater. Pero, like just like what I said, it's an opportunity to to reach more audience. So for me, it's it's still a win-win situation. Uh, for the past, uh, in your opinion, is it okay to have a sexual fetish? And what's the strangest fetish you have heard of? Lahat naman ata tayo may fetish. It would be a lie to say na hindi. Um, and the strangest one, I think, would be armpits. Like, I get a lot of messages on Instagram <laughs> to show my armpits, so I guess that's one. I don't fetish at all. That's a good question, but I don't fetish it. Uh, maybe I won't disclose that. But, uh... <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> this is gonna get pretty crazy. No, I'm just kidding, I, I won't lay that on you. But uh, I do have fetishes. Um, a good set of feet always turned me on. Uh, <laughs> but uh, in terms of weird fetishes from others, yeah, I get people messaging me, they want me to send pictures of my feet for a certain price. So not bad, right? Easy money. 
Uh, joke. Um, other fetishes, I mean, it, it really goes around. Kili Kili that I got, I think, is one of the biggest fetishes in the Um And I've got some pretty hairy Kili Kili. I can show you later. It's funny because I was about to say that the funniest fetish is foot fetish. <laughs> no judgment. <laughs> um, I feel like normal naman that everybody has a certain fetish or kink. Because lahat naman tayo may naughty side. So I don't think it's a bad thing. I feel like mas tagulang yung sa iba and every, the others it's just out in the open. And thank you. So I would agree with Andre. Um, we all have fetish in one way or another. Not necessarily sexual, um, sometimes emotional fetishes. Personally, for me, I have a fetish for the eyes. Um, not a sexual fetish, but I'm a hopeless romantic when it comes to the eyes. The weirdest fetish I've probably come across, not personally in my life, but ones that I've known about since my family are uh, kind of in the medical field, are discarded toenail clippings. Yeah, it, I, yeah, 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 so, it's kind of gross, but each to one's own. Thank you for the question, that was Matt Suzana from Pochera Lovers, up next we have Judy Gaspar of Pep and Lugar. Inna. Hello, good evening everyone. Una muna kay Direk. Direk kasi ang style ni Direk brilliante pag naggagawa, di ba wala siyang script. Eh, dito ba ganun din ang style mo sa kanila? Yes, actually same lang. No? Na ako kasi lumaki ako sa center stage, so na-adapt ko na rin yung process na yun. For me, mas, ano, mas, may, mas flexible sa editing and as well sa actors. Parang mas, 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 mas collaboration yung dating. I mean, if, if they're not like... Uh, nakukulong sila doon sa script. For Pwede me, it helps a lot. So, yung ibang dialogues po doon, sa kanila na, impro improvise nila? Well, actually, yung halos lahat eh. There are some key points lang that they need to mention. Oh. Pero, most of their dialogues, ano, uh, sa kanila okay. kanila. Oh, pero ang ganda, ang ganda. Diba? Kasi, Parang kala, kala ko nga may script direct eh, kaya tinanong ko eh. Well, feeling ko doon po pasok yung power ng non-script kasi parang mas totoo eh, mas, mas natural. natural. Parang totoo ang buhay lang eh. Okay. Thank you, direct ah. Well, meron yung iba lang na like pinag sa elevator kasi yung machine uh, nag nag ano yun, na parang parang interfere siya dun sa lapel. So, pero aside from that, lahat yun almost na ano lang, sa scene mismo na galing. Oh, uh, gusto ko na rin tanongin yung kas, paano kayo nakapag-adjust dun sa noise script uh, style ni Direk? It wasn't the first time for me naman po, and I, like Derek Jow said, it's more collaborative and it's more freedom for us as actors to really be in the moment and take it in as it comes. Okay, thank you. My last question. Uh, Nico, would you like to answer? Yeah, I just want to add to say, uh, ako as an actor, and, and you know, when I started taking drama and theater arts in, at UCLA, mm -hmm. growing up I was always taught to, like, the script is like your Bible, right? You carry that around like it's a Bible. But on this film, uh, first time come to work with Direct Brilliante and Direct Jao here at Center Stage. So and the pressure, oh, I won't lie, like I was sitting in my condo three weeks before the project thinking like, well, what can I do to prepare for this? Because there's no script, right? So I'm like, what do I do? Like, And then I don't want to realize that it comes from within. So I, I looked at myself in the mirror and I'm like, okay, who, you, who do you want to be in this film? I don't care if they're more. And I said, okay, I have to go out and do something. I have to go and experience something. So I thought, okay, you character, oh, uh, smoker, shop. So I'm in BGC, right? I said, BGC, oh, no time. Okay, I'm gonna go to the only smoking spot in BGC where all the call center agents huddle around and have a smoke, so break me that, right? And I'm like, okay, I don't, know, I don't know how to smoke. So I go to the 7-Eleven, I buy a pack of smokes. Mancha mahal, I know, worth it. So I get there, and then I, I actually offer them a smoke. I said, gusamo magyosi. I'll give you as many as you want. So I, I watched them smoke one by one. And, and no weird enough to see that. I can tell that like, this guy is super creepy. Like he's watching me smoke. Um, I'm by myself. It's at like, it's 12 a.m. at night, right? I look like a stalker that I got. But I was watching their galau. Like how they would smoke, how they would inhale the smoke, how they would breathe it out. Uh, so things like this, I really, really enjoyed the process. Super enjoy the film because 
um, it brought something out of me that I've never seen before, and that was because we don't work with scripts here. Lahat natural, lahat instinctual, lahat based sa character mo. So you really have to focus on your character. Talaga. So that's one thing. I think that was the main lesson for me uh, here at uh, Center Stage. Thank you, Paul. Ay, congrats, Nico, kasi nag-pave naman yung effort mo. Nagbunga ng mga ganda sa screen. I thank you. Oh. Magaling mag-smoke, no? Hindi, mag in fairness. Uh, yeah. Siguro, I guess, ito yung pinaka-best performance mo na napanood ko sa, film, sa lahat ng films mo. I thank you so much. Kiling ako dyan. Thank you, Nico. And then last na lang po, may nagpapatanong, <laughs> kung ano bang favorite sandwich niyo? Thank you po. Ah, if you're... Ano yan ang... <laughs> if you're a sandwich, what would you be? And why? Parang beauty... Ano lang, beauty pageant question. Egg avocado lang po para balance tayo. Maraming protein. If you were a sandwich... If, you um, if I was a sandwich, I'd be a Nutella sandwich. I'm sweet and you can't get enough. Wow. I'm a beef dip. Because I just like a lot of, a lot of meat. And very flavorful. That was, I, can, I like dipping it. I like dipping myself in something. So I like the beef dip. <laughs> I'm not going to answer. <laughs> Do you want to hear it from the red gel ball? Well, it's a sandwich for a bread na lang. If you guys know, ano, pande coco, di ba? Very pinoy. It's, it's small, it's compact, but it's masarap, di ba? Let's go! Okay, there you have it. That was a 